Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be talking about how you can become Tier 10 in September. Maybe even sooner. Wait, it's already September. Hmm, I wonder what year I'm talking about. Oh yeah, so if you saw the thumbnail and you're looking at the video right now, you probably are seeing that I'm talking about 2021, not 2020, which 2020, I should mind you, is, here we go, if 2020 was a scented candle. And um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's my, uh, my attempted humor for today. Wait, no, there's more. Cool. So hopefully you guys get a good laugh at that. Um, yeah, so what are we going to do? We're going to be talking about skill points and how I kind of like how they do it in the game. So this is more of an attaboy than a complaint because I don't know any game, mobile game, I should say. Other games are, are a little bit more sane, but I don't know any mobile game where I can be a lazy, not grind, not do anything, and just pay $15 a month and become maxed after a year. This is pretty counterintuitive to a lot of mobile games that I play. I play other mobile games, and like after four years, all of my hard work that I did three or four years ago in the game is worth Boopkiss. Clash of Clans. I haven't opened that account in a super long time, but I promise you if I open it, my very first T10, T11, whatever the I was first at, it's not worth janky boop now because they've got like T12, T13, God knows only what by now. Same thing for King of Avalon, same thing for most of these pay-to-win games. So it's kind of a little bit refreshing to have me be able to be a lazy and, um, yeah, just after a year become maxed. So, yeah, I mean, like, if you're watching this from my other videos, you know that I, like, work my ass off for other games and, you know, struggle to, to do what I do. But this is, like, $15 a month. Okay, okay, nobody will seem to play this game from my current audience. But, you know, you guys because I'm just enjoying it all alone. Maybe. I don't know. Um, so yeah, here we go. If you were curious about like T7, T8, T9, T10, about how many skill points was required, well, the left-hand side covers that. I've done a little bit of math. Well, the spreadsheet did it for me, and it shows you the additional amount. And then the days needed is if you are, you have, if you have the three chips and you have alpha and omega, which gives you 75 per minute, this is ballpark what it's going to do. And I put estimated date because, 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 we don't know how many times they're going to screw up for maintenance. We can finger cross that they do because then we can get free SP. Um, or the gifts that you get per month, which is like roughly estimated at like 500K, I think. So over the course of a year getting 500k that'd be like 60 days so this would definitely be before september of 2021 yeah and there's no saying what ships will or won't be available by then or what other content will or won't be available i mean like i'm actually really cool with t7 i don't have all the skill points that i would love to have for t7 but i mean like t7 has a number of ships that i'm just like dancing mm -mm, you know just like insert the dancing emoji here and um, I'm kind of enjoying it. So I'm really excited about T7. And I didn't put a days needed because it's going to be somewhere around September 16th-ish. On the 11th, they're supposed to... Um, here, just enjoy that for a second. On the 11th, they're supposed to give us about 100k more because the cheaters um, got free SP. And this is the way that they're trying to make up for it instead of banning and, and doing punishment against the cheaters. But whatever, you know, never mind that. Just sweep that under the rug. Oh, speaking of cheaters, there's still too many bots in the game, guys. So if you could pretty please, you know, like step that up. But not not ban like innocent people. Pretty please don't do that because I have to go in the Discord channel and then like field all their questions about how they got like, you know, falsely banned. So don't, don't ban any of the good people. Just ban the botters and uh, the people. Oh. I should get some screenshots for this. So just as a heads up, this is kind of like the friendly friendly announcement thing. If you see a delivery with 100K, don't accept it. It is a scam. 
the UI won't care, the game won't care, the devs won't care. You can't actually deliver that. So they're going to take your collateral and keep your get their stuff back after like 24 hours. Don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. So if you see anything on delivery for 100k, I really need to put this in a different episode, but yeah, don't don't accept that. And all you people are like, oh, it's the person's fault for accepting it. We're new players, fuck you, you know? It's like, you probably thought that like, hey, you can just like, you know, put it into little pieces or something. Mm-hmm. But yeah, no, the 100k thing, that's a scam. Don't don't fall for it. So just friendly, friendly announcement on that. Um, other things real quick while I have your attention. Yeah, I don't know. This is probably it. So the, anyway, these are estimated dates. But I mean, for T7, you know, I'm totally cool. You know, it's coming soon. For people who are like started like day one, you know, I mean, if you started a little bit late, you know, obviously offset it for whatever. And, 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 and I think in the next maybe week or two, I'm going to start putting up community resources. So little calculators like this. Um, yeah, just small things, things to help you like an SP calculator so that you can say, oh, yeah. How long is it going to take me to train this skill, this skill, this skill, this skill, this skill? And or when am I going to be T7? You know, and just an estimator. There's, I don't think there's any precision involved there. I'm not going to guarantee that. But it'll be some sort of ballpark estimator because they don't actually show you how many skill points are needed for eight until you get to seven. It's kind of sneaky. I think they should show you. Anyway, um, I'm still digging the game. And uh, hopefully you guys will get over yourselves in the bad UI and all of the other janky things that might get in your way and just trust that i'm going to make more tutorial videos and have more funny commentary content and battling soon coming soon 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 soon, soon. so um there we go so remember to hit subscribe and like if you like my videos or you know hit a thumbs down because you've only seen a small janky image this entire time remember this is 2020 and 2020 loves you so okay love you guys and uh that's it bye bye for now